This is Strider for the Sega Master System, released in 1991. Based on the original arcade game from 1989 by Capcom, Strider follows the efforts of the futuristic ninja Strider Hiryu to thwart the tyrannical rule of the evil Grand Master. What I remember most about this game was the visually appealing premise of a lone ninja with a wide arcing sword and superhuman acrobatic ability, fighting enemies against the backdrop of traditional Russian architecture. There is very little exposition contained within this version of the game, and the manual only explains the superficial backstory about the Grand Master sending his extraterrestrial armies to conquer the Earth. I played very little of this game after purchasing it over 20 years ago, and after playing it for this video, I can see why. Strider Hiryu is supposed to be agile and acrobatic. Unfortunately, the controls in this port do not facilitate this because they are plagued with lag and terrible frame rate slowdown. These technical issues combine to make Strider Hiryu feel sluggish and floaty, two problems which would ruin any timing-dependent side-scrolling action game. Also, the graphics flicker constantly. That flicker you've been seeing throughout this video is not the capture, it's all in the game. Attacking enemies doesn't give you any sense of impact. Defeating the snake-like boss early in the game always felt more like luck than it did skill, due to the poor controls and almost indiscernible hit detection. Sound-wise, what you hear is all you get. Sound effects are repetitive, and that music track never stops playing, looping over and over. It will drive you into madness. But even more annoying than the music is that timer at the top left corner of the screen, where you end up dying instantly when the time expires, just like I did right there. All of these problems are a real shame, since the concept and setting for this title are exciting for a platform game of this era. So does the Sega Master System version of Strider represent a good port of the game? Probably not. I have never played any other version of this game. But from what I have seen on the net, other versions play much faster, and are technically more proficient. I hear that the Sega Genesis port is excellent, but if you aren't interested in retro gaming, or simply can't find the old Genesis cartridge, then just play this.